Hi folks, David Waring and Mark Prosser here again from LearnBonds.com for the weekly $200 billion worth of bond advice show. Um, this week I was talking to Mark and uh, obviously as we wrapped up last week's video with uh, Bill Gross came out with his monthly investment outlook uh, where he said that uh, the U.S. is addicted to budgetary crystal meth and uh, the, there was the potential if we didn't get off it that uh, stocks would be singed and bonds would be burned to a crisp. Yeah, he actually put the U.S. in a group of countries that included uh, Greece, Spain, and Japan. Uh, you know, really uh, economic, sound economic countries. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I thought we'd start uh, off today's session with a look at a inter video interview he did on CNBC, an interview he did on CNBC. Awesome. Let's go ahead. Let's go to the America video. really owe sixty trillion dollars? Well, we do in terms of our uh, stated current entitlements. I mean, the entitlements for Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security on a present value basis, Brian. When you when you tack it onto the fifteen trillion that we owe in bonds, it basically produces a total debt. Yes, a debt to foreign countries, but a debt to our own citizens, uh, expressed in terms of bonds and bills, you know, of sixty trillion dollars. Uh, you know, that's. 500% of GDP, those are numbers which more than rival Greece and other um, egregious countries that are rated uh, junk or below. So what are your thoughts on the video, Mark? Um, well, you know, I think, boy, I'm starting to sound like Bill Gross now. <laughs> uh, no, no, I think he's making a few points, which, which is, you know, entitlements, you can't just think about the debt in terms of bonds, but you have to think about the debt in terms of future obligations. So, you know, and if you look at future obligations, just like we're, you know, th that we're making the states consider their pension funds future obligations, the U.S. is actually not in great financial shape. Uh, you know, we tend to tease Japan about having a 200% debt-to-GDP ratio, but if you take, you know, debt plus future commitments, we're actually, uh, you know, our numbers don't look so great either. Gotcha. And do you think the U.S. could end up looking like Greece sometime soon? Um, you know, I like Mediterranean weather, so I certainly hope that our climate does. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so next we'll turn to Twitter, um, which there's, you know, the, the... Let me put that question on you. Sure. Do you think the U.S. is going to look like Greece, economically? Um, my concern is that there's such a political gridlock um, that we're not going to solve these problems. And what's really needed, and I think Bill Gross said this in another interview that I watched, is... Uh, for a slow and steady and um, really well thought out over many years plan to tackle this because you can't take it down right away else it's going to you know, give the economy a heart attack um, but something has to be done and I just worry uh, with the current political situation in the U.S. that we're going to be able to get anything done. Right, I mean you've got the Democrats that want to increase spending and you've got uh, the Republicans that want to cut taxes. Uh, both of them are not uh, not good for the deficit. Right, it doesn't seem like there's any real commitment there. I agree. So, um, the big tweet from Bill Gross this week um, is uh, bet on reflation and reflationary policies from the central banks, tips and short maturities in the U.S. by Spain and Italy and the EU. Uh, and then by Spain and Italy. Yeah, so uh, this follows on his um, you know, statement earlier last week and also Mohamed al Arian was talking about this as well is by a head of the central banks and it looks like he's not talking about only the Fed but also the European Central Bank. Um, so they're expecting the, the ECB to begin bond purchases in uh, Italy specifically in a few weeks so they're trying to get out in front of that. So it's more of a technical position that, that you know that you know uh, demand is going to be increasing, supply of the debt is going to stay the same so you know, you know when that happens price rise so it's a technical rather than a core belief that those economies are going to be improved. That's right, and just like they bought MBS or mortgage-backed securities ahead of the Fed's latest purchase, I think they're trying to get out in front of the ECB and how long they hold those positions for, maybe another story. Okay, good to know. Um, so what are we writing about this week on Learn Bonds as far as PIMCO goes? Actually, we wrote about what Bill Gross said. We also wrote about what uh, Mohamed al Arian said, and I'm going to get this guy's names wrong, but the, the manager of their... Uh, Commodity uh, Strategy Inflation Fund. Okay, we, we like that guy. <laughs> we like that guy. Um, and he actually seems to be a star. I mean, he's been, his fund uh, has been averaging over 10%, you know, since inception. So he's going to, he's going to watch. Um, but uh, basically what he said was buy gold. Oh, is that right? Right. He said, you know, I mean, both Muhammad Alarim and Bill 
Gross has been talking about uh, inflation. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Mohammed Alarim basically said what the Fed's been doing is inflationary. Uh, Bill Gross is basically saying, you know, this, you know, this debt crisis is going to force. Uh, force the, the Fed to print even more money to reflate the economy and to minimize the debt. So everyone's talking about inflation. So the question is, what to do with inflation? And their answer is, buy gold. Buy gold. Well, and and he's yeah, you know, they're really big on these hard assets, which is very interesting for a bond fund. I mean, if you're an investor in the Pimco Total Return Fund, are you pulling out your money from the Total Return Fund and putting it in the uh, their uh, inflation fighting funds or? Actually, uh, I happen to personally have some of my retirement in the PIMCO total return fund. Really? I'm actually considering what to do with that. Okay. So, so I have about two hundred thousand dollars, and about I'd say about thirty percent of that is in the in the total return fund. And uh, I'm thinking about uh, changing uh, my asset allocation. What are you thinking about switching to? Uh, you know, everyone's going to laugh when I tell them, but peer to peer loans. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds good. Anything else for this week? I think this uh, that covers it. Okay, thanks again for watching, and we'll be back with you next Friday for the PIMCO $200 billion worth of bond advice show.